So, this is the boat driver that was assaulted by that honorable member that claimed that he's a senator. The reason why I say that claimed that he's a senator because I discovered this morning that that man is not a senator. So, this is the guy that I assaulted. Now, we have seen the video. We saw all what transpired. We saw the horrible things he said to you. We heard him call you monkey, rats, all the derogatory things he said to you. Now, the question is, what happened after that video? Please. Okay, so, uh, after the video, mm. He called some police officers. I don't know the division they were assigned to. Okay. And then they bundled me to the station. I wanted to drive the car. They said, no, I should not drive. Okay. So one sat beside, two sat beside me and I was in their middle. Okay. And then they drove me down to the station. Okay. They, when they drove me down to the station, they said I should go inside. I was, as I had calls, they, they, they didn't allow me to take my calls. Okay. So they, 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 they were not asking what happened. They didn't ask me. They were asking people that were not there, the police officers. And then the police officer quickly said, I went to Honorable South and I was fighting the Honorable. I, I kept mute. Did you show them the video? I have not shown anybody the video as at okay. that time. Okay. They have not even, even the security person that came to bear witness as at that time, have not heard, have not seen the video okay. as at that time. Okay. So they now said, they now referred us to crime, that we should go to crime. So we went to crime. The man was not asking what happened. As I was explaining, no, no, I, initially I didn't explain. He, the, the man now said he cannot actually hear from one side. The other okay. person has to come okay. to actually give his own side of, of the story. story. And then the police officer said, the, when they said I, I fought him, they now said no, they should go and bring the man. Immediately his, the security man, his security man now called him and they passed the phone to the IPO okay. that was in charge of the case. And then the IPO was now talking to him on the phone and stepped out mm. of the office where we were and after some time he came back and said he wants to go and do investigation at the honorable's house okay the and idea left you at the station at, at the and station wants to go. which station the, was this metama, metama police okay, station. so it's what it happened this within metama it happened within metama okay so the ipo left you at the station and, and went, went to the, the honorable's house. house okay and then after they kept me there for over two hours i was i was behind uh I was at the counter, I was not detained though. They kept you the behind counter. the counter? They kept me behind the counter. And then okay. after two hours plus, he came back. And then he was not like, uh, why did I record the, this thing, the, the video? Why did I now change, change he, he up for you? He was not him. trying to change the narrative. And I asked him, is there a part of the law that says I cannot record what somebody is doing to me? He was becoming a threat to me. Mm. And I had to take evidence so that people will know where by I this am. Well, by this time, was the honorable member there? He wasn't there. He was at home. He was at home. So then I gave me a form to fill, to write my own statement as to what happened. As I was writing, the honorable and I came. And then when he came, he started talking and he was shouting. That even was at the station? Even at the station. He calling was talking, you names? Calling me names. Like, I still kept mute and I was looking at him. So my colleagues were talking to him. Me, I've already had my own fair share of trauma from him. I don't want to actually have any engagement or any encounter with him. I just went to one corner and I sat down. And I was listening to everything he was saying. All the names he was calling me, you common boat driver, you a poor man, you have pride in your poor, you have this, you have that. I kept mute. I said, so the problem you have now is a poor man cannot speak that I'm in Nigeria and I shouldn't be treated as a foreigner in mm. this country. As I'm, I'm from Delta State and I cannot be treated, I cannot have you treat me like a foreigner in my own Now, country. when did you leave the station? I left the station at about, uh, I think, some minutes to three or so. Where's your car? My car is still at the station. So the police collected your car? They collected my car. And you left the station this morning? Yeah, I left the station. Was the honorable member detained? He wasn't detained. They let him go? They let him go. That's really, really sad. Now, I want to ask you a question. The woman that sent you that message, do you know her name? I didn't know her name per se. Do you know her business name? I don't know her business name. It was a request. But I think I checked from my boat app. I think the last request that came in, when I tried calling from the app, it was, I think, Gloria. Gloria. Yeah. Because she said something in that video. She said something like, and do you know who he is? She was also supporting him. That's why I'm asking you that if you know who she is. Now, what did you go and deliver to him? What even really happened? Just give me a brief summary of what happened before that video. Okay, before the video, I actually got a request on both. Okay. Right? I, I was closing already because I needed to resume work this morning at 8.30. Okay. So I was closing at 9.10. I said, let me just quickly go home so that I can, I can have enough rest. So I got this request to Metama. I felt it was a normal request. And then she told me no, that it's not a request, that I'm picking something up from a, from a yes. garden. Okay. Right? From a garden. Around, Which garden? I don't know the name of the garden. She just described the garden that after Kadu roundabout, okay. you will see one uh, orange color 
container and then there's a garden beside it okay so i just quickly went there packed the girl just came without wasting time brought the package that it's a snail snail said, okay, snail yeah so she dropped it it was the girl that brought it and dropped it on the seat she understood that part okay i was like okay there's no problem i'm going so on getting to the man's house i called him okay i'm at your gate you know, I said, okay, I should give it to the security man. They gave it to the security man. The security man explained where the house address is. So I drove down to the house. On approaching, I called the man again. I said, Oga, I'm here. He now said, I'm not here. That if you are here, I will see you. So I drove. He now said, I should park beside one car. When I parked beside the camera, I saw him. I, but I didn't know he was the one. the one. So I saw him seated a few meters away from my car. So I greeted, good evening, sir. He didn't respond. Good evening, sir. He didn't respond. So I presume he is not the one that, I, that I'm, yes. so, I'm supposed to deliver this thing to. Mm -hmm. And since he didn't answer, the next thing is for me to call the person that has this package. The next thing I dialed, I dialed the person's number. And his phone rang. And then the next thing he was like, are you stupid? Are you mad? Are you a fool? Bring my stuff for me. So I, did, I was not happy at the way he talked to me because I was doing my professional job, right? I was not happy. So I was like, okay, this thing you're saying to me, it has not gotten to eat. Normally, I'm not even supposed to bring this thing to you. You are supposed to come and pick it yourself. Yeah. That was what, that was the only thing that got him angry. You are asking me to come to your car to pick my stuff? Are you okay? Do you know who you're talking to? It's okay. I can see the anger on your face. Don't worry. Um, the truth is that Nigeria is for everybody. Nigeria is not for one person. If yeah, an honorable member will be treating people like this, then just imagine what the president supposed to do. Now, I need to remind you, we are all clamoring for the youth to come to power. See this one, Anna, youth. I always say something. The youth are looking for a better... They are not trying to make this country better, a lot of them. They want to get power to do worse than these people because they have a better way of hiding this evil than these old men in power. But nevertheless, uh, the man does not have immunity. I just discovered that he's not a senator. So, actually, pursue this case. And I believe that the law will take its course. Um, we'll go to, I've heard a lot of things about me that police station, which I'm not going to say, but I believe in the new commissioner of police that have been, that have been moved here, um, commissioner of police DC. So this case will be reported to him directly. And I believe that the law will take its course. So don't worry. You said you're not feeling well. I'm not feeling well. He hit me on my chest. Several, he was just hitting me on my chest and I stayed mute. I was looking at him. So when he was becoming much of a threat to me, it, I, I, initially I did not record because I didn't go there with intention of fighting. If I, if I went there with another motive, I would start recording from the very beginning. It was when he was becoming a threat, when he said he would pay 50 million naira and then they would delete me and look at me, this cheat. He was just calling me all sorts of names. And you he, pay 50 million and they will delete you. He would pay 50 million naira to somebody, to people, and then they would kill me and nobody would say anything. And when I noticed he was, this thing is becoming what i never expected i quickly brought out my phone and you recorded and i started recording don't worry we'll go we'll go and write a petition and we'll take it up oh, Allah, more they go.